It's Father's Day. <laughs> it's getting crazy hot out already, and uh, it's just morning time. So, <laughs> uh, the first thing that we're gonna do today, because we have to do uh, stuff between two separate houses today. First thing that we're gonna do is reinstall those porch windows. Uh, after that, we have a uh, grass cut here, <laughs> and then we have uh, furniture. The house get moved uh, from this house to the other other house. Uh, that piece, and uh, also this. <laughs> Pretty sweet, <laughs> like microwave cabinet uh, that's gonna be put in the kitchen at the other other house because uh, that one doesn't uh, really have enough kitchen cabinets. Um, so there'll be a story about that house. <laughs> we'll be shaking things up over there, and uh, yeah, that's what's uh, that's what's on the go for today so far. We've got uh, the windows reinstalled uh, in the porch, and uh, yeah, isn't that just woo, phenomenal? So we're currently on route to the other other house. There's a whole lot going on, eh? Okay. It, it, just in general. Okay. <laughs> um, there's a there's a whole lot uh, going on yes. right now. Um, with uh, the other other house, which is a little house, um, is kind of like life is just 14 hours of Tetris music right now every single day. <laughs> here uh, coming up it's gonna be the focus of like everything um, for the next little bit this house has been kind of sitting there frozen in time since October uh, when my mom uh, went into the hospital there was really no determination made as to whether or not she was going to be um, released and coming home with home care or if she was going to be going um, into a personal care home we kind of had to leave everything um, just just frozen and and waiting um, but yeah, that decision got made at the end of May and uh, she's she's not coming home. So um, we have to uh, deal with this one here. There's uh, some some furniture that we have to get moved out and then put at the Happy Haunted House because uh, we might as well use that place for free storage instead of uh, renting a storage locker because I don't have time to um, sort through uh, things that are going to be sold, th things that are going to be kept, things that are going to be donated. So basically we're just going to empty it and uh, take everything and just uh, just put it at uh, the haunted house for now. So. <sighs> it's exhausting, eh? Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, I think I've finished crying though. Like I've dealt with that, all that emotional stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, I'm done with that now it's just uh, the physical labor that has to start and then of course ended up uh, finding a whole bunch of furniture that I had stored in the basement there that I forgot about when we used to flip houses and then I used to do my own staging and I would pick up like wicked deals and stuff <laughs> I uh, dumped it all in there and then of course forgot about it so we had to deal with that and get stuff moved already so we've already kind of started but um, and then last fall we ended up having to do a new roof on this house so we were we were able to um, uh, squeak some life out of the out of the one that the flippers did. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna be shaking things up with that gable. Um, my mom wanted cedar shakes uh, installed in that gable, so that's still gonna happen, even though um, she's not gonna be uh, coming home. She's not gonna be uh, living here anymore. Um, we're still gonna do that, and uh, there's a few other things that we want to do um, that we wanted to do uh, when we lived here. So, yeah, I'll show you what the plans are for this one. Okay, so the little house, as you can see, some packing that's already been started. Um, yeah, things that my mom wants that um, I've already put aside. I'll take out for her. There's, um, <laughs> there's a really cool story about those that uh, I'm not able to tell. These are from uh, the haunted house. The yellow elephant story. So this is, yeah, um, that belonged to my grandma. And um, my mom said that she bought it for $30 at a thrift store. <laughs> That's gonna get sold for sure. I'm probably going to end up keeping the dining room table um, and using that uh, at the other house. So, yeah, we've started cleaning out um, some stuff. And that's the basement. So this flooring is going to come out. Uh, we're going to do some work to the bathroom. And um, 
that microwave cabinet that we got for free is gonna go here. I've already cleaned out um, some of the back porch, which is uh, out in the, <gasps> look at the peonies. Oh, we got a jump run already started. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, they're beautiful. Those popped quickly because they weren't like this yesterday. So this is gorgeous. And then those are about to come in too. Gotta get rid of my old truck, um, which is just being used as a garden shed right now. I've gotta get some borax and some vinegar and some salt happening on here. This closet thing uh, is gonna end up going to the other house, going to the attic uh, so I can store some clothing up there. Yeah, this is all of my mom's patio furniture. Um, that I'm probably gonna keep, um, but yeah, look at that, eh? Oh, those peonies are just fabulous. So I'll have to cut some of those and bring those to her. <laughs> She's gonna appreciate that, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so it's probably, it's probably gonna be like a five day blitz over my uh, Canada Day holidays here. Uh, see if we can get as much stuff out as humanly possible. Um, and then there's like some painting and stuff that has to be done, and then I have to. Uh, I have to I gotta go through her laundry and probably FaceTime her and uh, we'll go through and <laughs> sort out what she wants and what she doesn't want anymore. And um, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna cry. <laughs> I said I was done with that. Oh, I think it's a little too hot for those calla lilies. <laughs> they aren't faring so well. <laughs> so fast forward to, uh, it's July 12th today. Take a look at what's going on down here. And now, of course, after I uh, <laughs> piled everything over in that corner <laughs> so that we could use the, the basement for a storage space for my mom's uh, stuff. <laughs> of course, right after I did that, I actually need that workspace back. <laughs> because now I have like more third party windows <laughs> that I have to do on top of uh, everything else, but it's cool. I can do it all. Uh, <laughs> oh, and yeah, did a little bit of yard work. Um, took down the overgrowth again, because uh, we were we were those <laughs> and um, our, uh, <laughs> our shrubs were overtaking the back lane. Everything looks good here. We were able to fit a lot of my mom's stuff um, into that bedroom there for the short term and then uh, we'll sort it out to my grandma's um, cedar chest. I'm absolutely keeping that. So we've got a little bit done uh, on her house. Um, that's where we're headed right now. I got coffee in the car and I got iced tea. <laughs> so I'm good to go. I start packing up the last of the uh, stuff that's been stored in the basement. All of my staging furniture and stuff like that. Yeah, it's all moved out and it's over here. So, yeah, just the last of like her Christmas stuff needs to uh, be packed up and then moved over here, put up in the attic for now. And uh, we'll sort that out later. Maybe in the fall, when we have time then. I'll do that then, but. <sighs> From job to home, supper, and then out to this house and then off to the other house now, go ahead. <laughs> so, or the other, other house. <laughs> The little house. <laughs> I haven't been able to really find a lot of information about this house on its history. It was built in 1905. There was a tree over in that corner. Um, there was a stump there uh, when we bought the house. One story that that I could find uh, was that uh, I think it was in the 1930s. A um, little boy that lived here had climbed up the tree and uh, fell off and broken his arm. It was mostly a rental. Um, it's always had like, um, even back in like the, the early 1900s, it's always had like a room for rent and um, yeah. Uh, so I think it was kind of like a modest little like worker's cottage here. Um, there was really nothing original left. Like um, when Chris and I bought it, it was pretty much like we had to move quick uh, cause the house I had prior to this one had sold and um, the new the new owners were taking possession really fast 
and uh, at the same time uh, the market was really taking off here in the city and so there was uh, very <laughs> few places that we could afford um, and, and and be able to lock down in like such we had like two weeks <laughs> to find a house and uh, so we found this one well Chris found this one actually it wasn't me um, he's the one that ended up finding it and um, it was a flip and um, there's really there's really not a lot of anything left from 1905 here um, like the porch ceiling there that's original and all well, the column is original Chris replaced the steps um, a few summers ago um, all the windows of course had been ripped out and then all the wood siding is covered um, with vinyl and then well, my mom wanted that so <laughs> she wanted a door with light because uh, there was originally just a like a solid door on there but like yeah everything's gone like the baseboards are all gone hardwood floors are still here but um, the only other thing that was original um, left in the house when we got it was a cloth foot tub that's still original but yeah Everything else is basically gone, except for something very cool. Um, so the majority of or my mom's stuff is moved out now. We just gotta move that. There's some stuff to go for donation there. Some more stuff for donation there. Um, my grandma's china cabinet. Yeah, that's staying. And uh, that's gonna become part of the house. I got a pretty creative idea for that. <laughs> and um, the microwave cabinet. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, it was it was awesome that I was able to snag that thing for free. But of course, when I saw it initially, I had a completely different idea of what I want to do to that. And um, I don't want to use it in a kitchen. And um, but I have something very creative um, that I want to do to it. Um, it's going to completely change. Um, the way that it looks, it's not going to look like some like 1980s relic anymore. <laughs> By the time I'm done with it, it's going to look more like 1930s. <laughs> We've got this floor that's going to come out. This vinyl floor we actually put down um, in a rush because um, well, underneath is uh, is hardwood floor. I don't want to disturb my mom with like refinishing hardwood floors while she was living here and then cutting off her access to the kitchen. So we just, uh, we threw this product down that we had used in one of our flips. And um, I don't even know if it's on the market anymore. Um, it's called a lure. And um, yeah, it's just, it's done. I don't, <laughs> it's just, it's done. Like there's, there'd probably still be a lot of life left in it. Um, but um, I don't like it. <laughs> I hate it and uh, and Chris doesn't like it um, either and then we've found like over the years there's issues with like the seams separating and then uh, I noticed that it's also coming apart like on the trap door here too so yeah so we're gonna get rid of that um, at the time too we had thrown it down in the bathroom um, and the back porch, uh, just so that, yeah, well, I'm kind of fussy and I like consistency. So, uh, we threw it down for, um, all those floors to match, but, uh, the flippers had done a pretty poor job on the, uh, um, ceramic tile that they'd put in the bathroom. So we're going to take, uh, all this flooring out. Um, the basement is actually going to get, uh, some spray foam, uh, going on down there. And, um, we got a few things that we want to do to the cabinets and um a, a super duper duper creative idea that i have for uh, something in particular so happy august long weekend <laughs> everybody um i'm on vacation again and uh, we're gonna be <laughs> rolling up on uh the other other house right quick uh the little house we've got some plans uh this weekend uh for doing the shakes in the front uh, the cedar shakes and uh, we've already started on the kitchen yesterday. Uh, we've got that vinyl flooring out and uh, got the appliances out and uh, Chris moved some of the cabinetry around for me because I'm such a <laughs> raw, raw. <laughs> I'm such a proponent of uh, uh, reusing stuff and obviously <laughs> picking historic house parts out of people's garbage. <laughs> so um, we've gotten to start on that. Uh, we're gonna be starting on some shakes. We're gonna be heading to Home Depot um, to pick up some more cedar and uh, 
there's a uh, there's a few other things I want to look at. Uh, I have a few. I won't call it cheap. <laughs> I won't call it cheap because that's a negative connotation. Um, but I will call it uh, creative cost savings uh, that we're going to be doing on this uh, particular hose. Um, the benefit of it being um, not original anymore. Um, the the fact that it's been through so many owners since 1905 and it, it had been through um, a kind of a little bit of a shoddy flip uh, right before we bought it. Uh, nothing historical is really left in that house so on the bright side it gives me a uh, kind of like carte blanche to do whatever I want and uh, be fully creative. Um, so it's it's kind of neat that I have um, I have the the balance and the and the complete opposites of the little house um, being a complete blank canvas for me and then the restoration house cbg the the happy haunted house um is like full-on restoration so yeah it's it's kind of nice to oh bacon in the summer <laughs> what a great shirt great shirt <laughs> that's yeah i'm gonna have to tell chris about that that's gonna be a, a kind of an inside joke uh, between uh, me and him and janice so <laughs> Um, we're gonna head off to Home Depot. Um, I'm gonna be looking for some um, some metal trim uh, and some some edging, and uh, we're gonna. I have a very creative, uh, cost-effective. Did you see that guy's shirt? No. It said it said bacon in summer. Bacon in summer. So that's a little shout out from Janice. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm, we're heading off and uh, we're gonna look at a few different things. Uh, I have a very cost effective yet super stylish and awesome idea for the backsplash. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. It's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. And uh, we have a. I have a, a, another cost effective, super creative idea uh, to salvage those thermofoil cabinets that. Uh, my mom, my mom accidentally melted the door with a toaster because she can't get arm. She couldn't get the toaster pulled out far enough away from the wall. So, um, but uh, instead of taking the doors off and throwing them in the garbage, um, I've come up with a creative way to save those two and make them look pretty cool. So, thank you. No problem. <laughs> I've forgotten what we're here for. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> Shakes and uh, getting paint shaken. <laughs> do we have? Um, I don't know at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alright, so creative cross-cutting. <laughs> that's ridiculous. What? I have an idea. All right. Okay. Let me know if this is gonna be stupid or not. All right. Okay. You take it like this, right? Yeah. Lay them that way instead of how shakes are normally like. We do them like this, and then it's. You know. You know what I mean. You know what I mean, Vern. Like. Do them like that. Because then I'm gonna have like the metal stars and stuff on it, right? Would that get further? That would get further than doing them like traditional way. Because there's no rules on this one. Like I don't have to follow any rules. Like on this uh, I don't understand. Like you just want to stack them? 
Well, yeah, like. Like just stack it like this. Yeah, like with like and would then, that work? And then how does your next row work? Like you just want to keep buttons to each other. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, sure. Why not, man? I don't think that's gonna look good at all. Okay. Here's um here's another idea. We take the wrap off and see what we've got left for original stuff yeah, underneath. Yeah, uh, we'll see if I can't patch in. Yeah. That makes more sense to me. Try and salvage as much of, as we can of the original stuff. I would rather try to do that first than spend $400 on brand new stuff. Okay, then let's try that. Right, we'll we'll go, we you go. go for lunch and then um, we'll try taking that wrap off and see what we come up with. Problem solving. That's for the nails. That's it. That is crazy. So now we're going to go look for metal. So we trim off the cabinet doors and make that look wicked cool so we don't have to spend money on new cabinet doors because I really don't like open shelving cabinets all that much. Not big box store boxes anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I need something else. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. Is, this is probably as flat as you're gonna get. Yeah, I like that. How much is that? Seam binder, twenty bucks for. Six oh, okay. Feet. Well, that's not bad. That would do both cabinets. Oh, okay, sweet. So. I'm good with that. You want one of those? Yeah. It's not open. <laughs> My kidney. <laughs> <laughs> When the hell did this stuff all get so fucking expensive? COVID. <laughs> Whether it was affected or not, <laughs> everything got jacked. Well. Mm -hmm. Everything got jacked. And that's why, that's why we're blessed that I am Cost effective. And I'm going to try to reuse as much stuff as possible. three or four bundles yeah. so we were discussing personally I don't mind the shakes being laid like completely opposite to what everybody else does cuz <laughs> <fucking crazy. laughs> so he's gonna go for lunch uh, with his best bro and then uh, come back we're probably gonna take that paper off that the roofing company did last year we're gonna see what we have to work with for uh, the original shakes that are up there Let's see Let's see what we can do might be able to get away with just uh, splicing in some uh, replacements like we did on the big house because those those bundles were like what 11 bucks 11 bucks at that point when we did that house and it needed a lot of shakes <laughs> ah. so I guess uh, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll reconvene after lunch and figure that out okay so that's the hardwood floors <laughs> underneath the uh, that were underneath that Allure vinyl. I was actually shocked and shit yesterday when we pulled these up because I thought for sure they were in worse shape underneath there. I'd forgotten. I guess I had almost gotten everything done before my mom had to move in and then that was why we ended up covering it up. Um, yeah, but uh, we got the fridge out. Fridge is moved. I have an awesome idea for this cabinet. Um, Chris moved, remounted these cabinets here yesterday. The bigger one on the bottom used to be on top of the fridge here and uh, that little guy, well that was above the stove originally. I got him to take these these two though and then stack them uh, together just because it just, I just love it. I don't know, I just love it. That's the cabinet where my mom uh, wasn't able to pull the toaster out and uh, had melted a little bit of the thermofoil but I came up with an idea on how to salvage those because I'm not a big fan of uh, open shelving like that. I mean it would be fine 
Um, but I just, I would rather have the doors on there. And um, you know what, the cabinets are in really good shape. They're the cabinets that were here when we bought the house. So I want to reuse as much as humanly possible. So yeah, this is going to be awesome. I have a, I have the most amazing piece of magic planned for right there. Stay tuned for that. Um, when Chris is back from lunch here, um, we're gonna we're gonna take the paper down on the original shakes and see um, see what kind of shape they're in. They did have shingles over top of them when we bought the house, so we're gonna see if there's if there's anything there that we can salvage um, due to the uh, insane price of shakes right now. Um, for this floor here, the high traffic area, I got some of that, which is pretty much what I used when I. Uh, stain these floors to begin with so this had year three years of uh <laughs> two beautiful girl boxers um living here and then uh my mom living here since then so i'm just gonna try and touch it up uh, with a little bit of this and blend it in and see what happens and uh, yeah we've got the uh, bathroom floor that's gonna come out and uh, we have leftover vinyl tile actually that uh, we had done uh, at Dorothy's house. And um, we had special ordered some because we were, we were originally gonna put it into our house, the bin, but uh, we didn't, we didn't ever get around to it. So uh, since we have those materials sitting in the basement there at that house, we might as well use them here. It'll be basically free <laughs> to redo that. Uh, come up with, uh, well, it's gonna, there's gonna be a new black countertop going in, just like simple and elegant. So it's gonna be just a straight, plain black countertop. This, my God, I've hated this <laughs> since the day we bought the house. I can't stand it. So because we're gonna save costs, we have to save time, I came up with a creative idea for there too. So, <sighs> I guess I'm gonna start on that backyard Again, go <laughs> get it weeded and uh, get some salt on there to hopefully kill the kill the ground. And uh, we'll pick up when he gets back. We'll do some investigating on these uh, original shakes in the gable and see if there's anything that uh, we can work with underneath. Kind of hoping it's going to be like uh, Marlene's house there. They're all, these are all from the same era. In the kitchen is that little black pry bar. Yeah. Can you go grab it for me? Yeah. Oh my God, what's getting uncovered? So talk about what you were just talking about. Uh, so for doing the shape flashing, we just underneath the shingles. 
Because we didn't know this was here. Yeah, the original plan was just to go over top of all of what was here with more shakes, but because of the cost uh, going up and everything like that, we've had to change our plan. So getting the paper off and discovering what we have, we're going to now change from going over top of everything with the shakes to just replacing what needs to be replaced here. And then what we'll do is we'll shimmy shorter ones about this size a little bit longer just underneath the last layer that we can access and then we'll just bead the tar put a bead of tar along the edge here and set them in there and then they'll be 100 percent watertight and we'll still have the shakes going as they should to look proper they're actually in like really good shape considering they had like the, sh the roof shingles on them when we bought the house and then the roofing guys taking that off last year and then putting the paper on because yeah. we didn't know what was there. We weren't here when the roof was done so we didn't yeah. know what was here. Had I been here and not been at work I would have been like stop! <laughs> I would have yeah, told them not to keep going. <laughs> yeah we just tacked this thing in so it sits flat. It's going to be gorgeous. But this is like <laughs> way better than what I was ever expecting to be there. I want this painted, it'll look brand new. You know it's going to make me want to paint the rest of the house, right? It's going to look cute though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like that. The way that... Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. I also have to probably reciprocate or bring my oscillating tool and just kind of go along the top of the trim or the top of the flashing in some places just to be able to get behind it. Just shave it down a little bit, like shave down the yeah, shake a little bit. This, this to sit flat yeah. That's going to look so awesome. But yeah, I think if we can get just under this here a little bit, then it'll make it look consistent and proper. I love it. Ugh. Mm. Oh. It's beautiful. Yeah, I was expecting. Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of expecting it to be plain, like. Yeah. Marlene's. God knows what is behind that one, because that's the same era. And then mm -hmm. there's this one. See, they're all, di they all were, would have been different. See, because that, that one. Yeah. I wonder if that one has a round. I wonder if that one would have had a round one too. Yeah. And then that. And that. Kind of neat how these were all built like would have been the same developer, hey? Oh yeah. Yeah. These two over here had to were obviously lifted at some point in the basement, but yeah. Whereas these two didn't. Which would have been awesome, trust me. I'd love to have an actual oh, basement yeah. in this house. I shouldn't be swearing so much, I guess, huh? <laughs> That's what the squeaky toy sound effect is yeah, for. Yeah, well, that's all this video will be. Squeak, 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 squeak. Believe there is good in the world, be the good. <laughs> so much for getting started. Before it got hot today. It's, it's already hot. Picking up shakes here that we have left over from the big house. Going to use them on the little house. And pick up the ladder. And get to work on that gable. Going up. He's gone up there <laughs> to uh, go and retrieve that piece of glass that we found uh, from the original window. So we uh, had some leftover shakes uh, from the big house that we bought uh, oh a number of years ago when we redid the exterior. And uh, yeah, after discovering how much they were at Home Depot yesterday, we were both like, oh hell no. Um, so we came up with an idea of uh, how he's going to um, patch in and uh, go over that flashing because we didn't know, you know, we had no idea that any of that stuff was still there. We kind of assumed that everything was gone and it was stripped. I didn't think that it was still like oh, that kind of magnificence sitting there waiting to be brought back to life. So he's got some tar, he's got uh, some other stuff, he's got some wood filler for that window frame. So he's going to go do that and then I'm going to be a little Miss Crafter girl here and I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna do something, uh, to that glass.
securing the flashing to the wall. And before we put the no shakes over top. In the meantime, while he's doing that, I'm going to work on this original piece of glass that was up in there. Clean it. I'm not going to go too deep on taking the silicone off, just so that I kind of know what I have for space to work with. This is going to leave a good pattern for me to work with, so I know what I'm going to be able to fit inside here. It's going to fit inside. I'm just using frosting. I've used this stuff before at a different house. I'll just uh, end up doing a number of different coats on it, and uh, then it'll leave the powder in the glass. Do you need those nails back or anything? I'm going to take these thick side ones, I'm going to put them on my left hand side, just so that I can kind of keep everything organized. Um, and then I need that little black bar down there too, over by the pillar. Okay. high-end method of keeping the squirrel and the pigeons out last night. I'm so slow compared to you. Oh, that's because I do this all the time. <laughs> You know how you got, yeah, tried to fix my truck and got metal in your eyeball. Like so? Yep. Okay, and we want ten and a quarter, correct? Yeah. Okay. Is this one going to be okay that I took off like the rotten bits? 
at the top? Is that still going to be skinny enough for you to fit under? Okay. You made that look so awesome, like the pattern is intentional. Awesome. I would say mission accomplished. Can you talk about what you did here uh, today? We installed new shakes. We repaired some broke ones and missing ones that were underneath where the window's gonna go. I wood fillered all the cracks and holes in the trim for the window. And we just gotta sand and, and then we gotta get the window back in and get that all caulked up. And then it's pretty much ready for paint. Today's grand cost total was about about 60 bucks if you calculated in my window yep. frosting and my Dollar Tree stencils. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so you got roof tar, wood filler, caulking, and the shakes we had already in stock. Yeah. And then, yeah, window flame stuff for the window. Creative cost savings. Yeah. Alright, it's the last day of vacation for me, so I'm quickly heading out from this house, uh, CBG, pick up some materials there. Chris has gone for quick breakfast, so I'll take this chance to go and run there, pick up some exterior paint that we have left over, since we have to bake the shakes now at uh, the little house. I have some leftover exterior cans. Uh, I was smart enough the second time <laughs> that we painted this house um, to... Uh, pick some shades and do some swatches instead of just, you know, rushing into something without um, giving it some thought. So I have uh, a few quarts of exterior paint uh, sitting over at CBG. So my plan is uh, to be uh, creatively, creatively cost efficient. Um, now that we have to paint the shakes over at uh, the little house, I'm going to take those uh, those quartz and I'm going to mix them together and throw some latex extender in and uh, see what kind of color I come up with. Chris and my mom had uh, chosen a color scheme, uh, this one. I really like it and uh, I think Chris is really tired of doing the blue <laughs> that I do everywhere and he wants to try something different. But the only problem I have with that is that um, the neighbors have that red door and if we do a red gable, uh, I, I would always think of this. What a hot mess. <laughs> just, I was just mortified um, when I saw that, that someone had, had done that to those two houses. And uh, I, so that's why I don't want to do red on the, uh, on the gable. Um, Cause I wouldn't, that, uh, that would always make me think of that scenario there. So. Ah, right. uh, I gotta catch her. There's Lisa <laughs> with the cans, with the Masons. <laughs> I have to put some out. <laughs> I'm gonna go say hi. Uh, hopefully this is gonna work. I have a doot, doot, doot. three cans exterior that uh, hopefully I can mix together, make some kind of custom color, and <laughs> use this stuff all up. Cause this is like basically 
60 bucks worth of paint just sitting here that I have I would have no other use for that would just end up going in the trash so, so I found out I found that little trick out of using a latex extender when you paint your exterior uh, when we painted the big house for the second time because <laughs> I hated the colors I've chose the first time so it also needed a shitload of repair. There was like missing shakes and Chris had to take all the trim off and rebuild all the trim. And uh, we had like squirrels and stuff living in behind the trim. Um, so he, he rebuilt all that and he did such a magnificent job. Like it looks original, like it had always been there. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try and mix these. Might as well use it. That's a whole lot of paint there and that'll probably do that whole gable. So. I guess we'll see what kind of color we come up with. Hope for the best. While you're up there, do you mind doing some doing some swatch of that brushwood color? Yeah. Okay. I don't think so at the moment. Okay. Yeah. This is a shellac primer. So. Okay. This brush will only last for so long. Okay. So welcome to Chris and Elsa's craft corner. I'm just gonna end up using that two dollar light fixture that I found in the small bedroom. Just gonna hit that with some silver. There's that latex extender I was talking about, and then the paint mystery paint bag of mystery. We're gonna mix this up and then see what we can come up with. Yep, oh, that looks good. I'm good. This has got too much of a hook. Well, which one is your specific hammer? The one on the entertainment stand. Do you want me to go get that one? That would be great. Okay. Okay, so going forward, there's the hammer on the microwave cabinet, and this is your hammer on the entertainment. Hey. <laughs> What's going on inside there? I have to take these old stubs off. Oh. There's <laughs> nails sticking out. Oh. Here's the Dollar Tree stencils and uh, a can of window frosting. And let's see. So my super duper smart idea, my cost effective idea, mixing together some old garbage paint was great. It's a great color, but the problem is, is that there's, not, enough to, of it. there's not gonna be enough to do two coats on that, so. Drat! There's no way I'm gonna be able to match those those two to five-year-old, probably rusted oak cans and two different shades mixed together, but. It was a good idea. It was. <laughs>